Welcome back, guys, to another playthrough of The Outer Worlds with Kanuddy. So we're going to be doing the Supernova playthrough. Supernova, as you know, is the hardest difficulty where you must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. Uh, saving is only limited to the ship, and your party members can't die or they die permanently. Out here, I am now on my way to do the quest. And this quest is just a side quest to take on some uh, wanted marauders. So I'm going to tackle side quests first before I get back on the main quest. As you know, the wilds out here are pretty dangerous when I'm killing some brutes. Now, I did die a couple of times because I, I wandered into a brute nest. I'll save that uh, video for my outtakes, but that's how I kind of know how to deal with these guys. These guys are pretty vicious, if not left uh, unattended to, so I have to use my character ability and take them out. And so far, it seems like everything is swell. I am rested up, full, fully eaten, fully drank, so no penalties. We're going to tackle this quick before those meters go down. That's rough, and my party member can't die. If they die, it's permanent, so get this guy real quick. I love this gun. This gun is great for close combat, but not so great when you're in range. That's my... My partner abilities stuns him real quick. Can beat him up on the floor. There we go. All right, here comes our our first criminal. So we're gonna hide in the bushes and we're gonna activate some uh, slow down the time real quick and aim for the head. Boom! Got him. Now here comes his friend. This is the hard part. Oh. Some health going. Come on, Parvati, do something. I wanted to think about the partners in this game as they rush into combat if you don't control them. The controls are basics for them, but uh, I'm gonna keep Parvati back here. Because she can easily get herself killed at start. Oh, she's already dying. Uh oh. Gotta keep pumping those health juice and slowing down time, getting those crit hits in. Come here, you bandits. The marauders. Bandits. Ah, same thing. Alright. It looks like there's two left. They even have pets there. Those pets are no joke. Better take them out too if I see them. Everybody, stay alive for a bit. Just stay alive for a bit longer. There's one of the pets. Ah, oh, this is fun. You got me a trusty uh, sniper rifle. This is going to be really useful. Sniper rifles. It's pretty sweet. Go ahead and take this with me and go up here. So 
what we got. Oh, I hear them. I hear primals. Oh, there they are. Let's these guys out. Ah, just trying to save some ammo. It's the best way to do it. Use my partner ability and whack at them with the hammer. Ooh, that's a lot of bodies here. Looks like these primals went to work on these marauders. And I want to change out my weapons because, you know, better quality weapons that aren't uh, wearing down. It does more damage, more crits. I mean, you could repair them, but I'm not going to waste it on that. And we're going to go for our second group of marauders. There's three wanted marauder criminals. I just kind of attacked that because I saw a bunch of, uh, bunch of those things right there. I'm pretty sure they're aggressive, yeah. Terror ray, pretty sure. Now, the first time I died is up north here, so I'm going to stay away from that place. Those mobs are incredibly tough. Incredibly tough. You don't want to wander in there. So I kind of knew what's going on with that part. Um, use my sniper rifle. There we go. Got him. Marauder lookout. Ooh, level up. Here we go. Going with a bit more ranged and some leadership. Just to buff up my companions, because companions die too easily. And I'm going to find myself probably upgrading leadership to a bit of uh, adept or expert, at least. So that I can get more uh, benefits out of the skills. Yeah, I'm going to confirm it, and let's do it. Oh, almost forgot the perk. I'll take that perk. I'm gonna stand out here and we're gonna hunt these marauders down in the cave. I see them. Oh, there we go. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five units in there. Let's just stay out here and uh, provide it. Come back! That's right, I gotta hold Z down and have her retreat a bit. It's a really bad place, Providi. Get back here. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Mm, melee. All right, we cleared that out. Oh, almost. See how much damage she took? A quarter of her health is gone, almost halfway. Let's go ahead and collect the next finger. That's two down, one to go. You marauder scum. Pretty, uh, pretty swell for a level 4. I think I'm doing it right. Oh, there's no wrong way, but you know. Let's go ahead and, uh, fast travel to the ship and save real quick. Because I don't want to lose the, uh, the work I just did. Now remember, we're gonna go anytime we need to rest. We're just gonna head back here. This is our, this is our spot. This is the spot. Go ahead and take a look at some of the armor, see if I can wear anything new. Switch out. Everything on the unreliable belongs to you now. Got a, a bit of bits, 420 on the top left. So I'm just going to use some of that bits and just upgrade some of the weapons and equipment. 
um, give it a bit more damage, especially to sniper rifle. Now that's useful. I had a sniper rifle with a diamond symbol on it, which means it's pristine condition. Uh, do I want to install mods? Probably not yet. I'm going to save these babies for bigger, larger guns, but the rifle is definitely helpful. You know, it's, it's definitely helpful for those range encounters and also sneaking up on your enemies. Um, but I'm going to focus on all out guns. I have plenty of ammos. Now this game only uses three type of ammo, light, heavy, and energy. So there's guns that use light ammo, bigger gun uses the heavy, or some of the assault rifles, and uh, energy weapons or plasmas. Also good, uh, depending on, on the damage type and what enemies. So I'm gonna break some of these down real quick. Alright, we're just gonna go and uh, take a quick nap. Just to bring up that bar again. Eight hours is always the amount of sleep needed if you want to fully fill it up, it seems like. And maybe take a whiff of some drinks and food. I thought I was gonna be starving to death or maybe thirsty, but I looted enough to, uh, to keep that sustained. And back out to the wild we go. Look at the skybox at night here. It's beautiful, very beautiful world. Near Edgewater. So the next plan, I'm just going to start heading back to Edgewater, I'm going to sell some stuff, and uh, let's turn in some fingers before we hunt the last guy, just to get some of that XP. It's not the best choice. It's spacer choice. Jeez, that logo you'll hear almost everywhere here all the time. But I had so plenty of stuff to this guy already, so I'm gonna keep selling these items. I could break them down for armor parts and weapon parts, but you don't want to do that. And the only reason is because you'll find plenty of armors and weapon parts out there. There's plenty of that stuff. So, there's not plenty of bits, so I'm trying to sell as much bits as possible. I think the next perk I'm going to pick up is the uh, is the vendor perk because it seems really helpful since I've been selling a lot of stuff. I'm just making sure my inventory is clear. I don't want to be encumbered. And just sell some of the tunas off. I guess I don't need too much of it. Nah, nah I'll keep the tuna just for uh, the health buff. See if anything interesting to buy. Not really. There's that really expensive hammer for 3,950 bits. But I'm gonna stray away from that temptation. So I don't even have enough. 562. Alright, let's go turn him in. And the quest is right over here to turn in some of the fingers. A good amount of XP. Something to report. Yeah, I'm here to turn in some bounties. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Mabel Burgess, age 37, right or left-handed? Let's just say no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess conducted my physical every fiscal quarter Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Here we are, Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher, 
before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. All right, that's a good amount of bits in XP. So let's uh let's get back out there into the wild. It's time to hunt the third guy. So far it's all quiet in the western front. I have a feeling there's going to be something over here. I don't know what's going on, but... Oh, I see, I see some chest. Now the secret to looting in this game is look for yellow containers and also blue lights from lockers. The blue light usually indicates, the little blue light you see right there indicates that you haven't looted something. So that's what I noticed about lockers. but. Uh, the yellow containers, you always want to open them. There's loots inside. Some bodies here. It looks like we got... Oh, I see him. I see him. Let's go ahead and sneak real quick. We got a Marauder ringleader over there. Let's back up and uh, do some sniping. Slow down time for those crits. I remember you I aim for the head because you blind them if you hit them right in the face. Ooh. Those, uh... We got incoming. Stop that creature, Pavati. That's your job. Stun him. Oh, she's getting shot. Just gonna pull her back a bit real quick. Oh, she's going in for combat. Help her out. Alright. Whew. Almost lost Pravati there. Always almost lost Pravati. Always.
All right. Looks like we got more, more over here. I see more marauders on the side right there. There could be a, a gang of them up here. So go ahead and snipe them. All right. We got one guy out before he alerted the crew. Well, well, that alerted them. Uh, a couple goons. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of them. Uh oh. Oh, someone got hit by a mine. I heard a mine. Oh, that's a that's a nest of them. Holy crap! This is possible death. Possible death. No, no, no. I still got it. Three left. Let's chuck some health. Come on, Parvati. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. They're coming for us. Get back in the rocks. We're sniping. We're sniping. Got one left. This is the last Marauder bandit for the quest. He was surrounded by goons, but I somehow came out of that alive. It was amazing. I lived. Can't believe I lived. I can't believe Pravati survived. Thank goodness. It seems like some sort of cannon. Um, I'm trying to use it just to see what it does, but I think it's better. It's better off on Pravati because when you put it on your companions, they don't use ammo. Any weapons they use, they don't use ammo. It doesn't break or requires repair, so it is pretty sweet. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just give that to uh, Pravati and, and give her like a close range weapon because she likes to melee a lot. Well, that's her setting, but. Uh, I can always change that to range, uh, but let's see how it works out on Pravati real quick because it looks like a really cool cannon of some sort. Maybe a Tesla coil. Let's go ahead and take a look. Around. Oh, 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 mine, mine's, mine's. Oh, ah, she forgot about the double jump. I'm such an idiot. Could have dodged that. All right, everything seems clear. Just a lot of loot all over the place. We got robots that are down, containers, glorious loot. Now the looting, uh, can't hack that. Those are hacking containers. Now the looting in this game, what I like the most about it is you just don't loot every single container. Oh, we got more marauders somewhere. Oh, two more. I see two inside. There's an NPC on our right. I almost shot her, but I just seems peaceful. Don't know why yet. Um stuff. There's one more? Thought I handled him. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. A oh, Provati's on him. Oh, I see that Tesla now. Mines. Mines all over this place. Mines are pretty dangerous. I gotta keep an eye out. They're hard to see, too. Right, we cleared the whole place out. Let's talk to this NPC. Wow. You crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. You sound confused or possibly unscrewed. The only thing unscrewed around here is the head of that marauder you took down. Never seen moves like that outside my serial dramas. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Are you from Edgewater? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. There was something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Alright, interesting. Maybe that character comes into play later for some reason. Uh, for now, we're just going to do a quick loot of the place. So I'm going to bypass this real quick and search all the buildings before I move. 
Right on. And I stepped on a mine again. Gosh, these mines are everywhere. Anyways, onward we go. Looted up the whole place, and uh, again, to save some time, we cut off some of the uh, the previous looting sequences, and ooh, ooh, primal nest. Yeah, that's that's the place. I'm gonna stay away from that. Like I said, I've, I've ventured that, you know, just running around before, so I'm gonna stay away from that. We got some marauders up here. Get back here! Be right there. Oh, she's get back, get back, get back. I use her for a bit of a drag bait. She goes in and baits him a bit, and then we use our stunning powers, and there we go. This time they weren't shooting at her, they were mainly aiming at me. Oh, she's at it. Get him! Get him! Get him, Bravati. Mansions are very nice to have with you. Definitely. I'm just gonna show you guys what this looks like. I'm gonna try to shoot some of them from up here. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about and why I kind of died when I first ventured out. And uh, I'm just gonna shoot one and show you what happened. I kind of accidentally went down. Look at that! Holy crap! I can, ooh, I can snipe them. Snipe advantages. Can't go wrong. Hey, if it works, it works, right? You can't complain. Get out of here. They're coming. They're coming. That's a lot. Holy crap. That's a lot of them. Run for your lives. They're coming for me. What What just happened? I guess they're not coming for me. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what happened. Oh, they just ran back to their spot. So I can only snipe them from here. They're not going to chase me all the way up. Let's kill a couple more just to dampen the load. There's so many of them. Now, the brutes are the most dangerous one I've seen in this game so far. They're the most dangerous. They do this type of damage that I, I quickly saw called end damage. And apparently it bypasses armor. Which is why they're dangerous. End damage. End damage. That's the, uh, the effect. Body, get back here. Stop. There's one coming for us right now. Oh, they are coming. I missed that shot. That was horrible. Aim for the face. Oh, missed that shot. They do bury themselves. And they come back up and they start punching. Those punches. There it is. There's that behemoth. It's easy to get encumbered when you're picking up everything in this game.
Alright, looks like we're near town, so we should be good. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Looking for a geothermal plant. Know anything about it? A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Uh, trouble with marauders. You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. Upbeat, a little strange, loves Rizzles. Yeah, I met Zoe. She was in the marauder camp. Thank the Eternal. Wait, Marauder Camp? Is she alright? You mean end ahead or? Zoe's family. Chiding her is our purview, not yours. If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some Marauders on the way, I'd be much obliged. There's got to be some type of store around here somewhere. Any NPCs that look like they sell stuff? I don't see any. Gotta look around a bit. Uh, Thomas Kemp. NPC, I need a sale. A if store. Stefan's got supplies. Keep your wits about you, friend. Oh, a space toy sign. Well, that's a store. You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout, too. Something I can help you with? I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Hold on, there's something else. Hey, I got time. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Oh, I uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I, I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I'm passing through. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. 
something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Hey, today's your lucky day, Thomas. I got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Part 2. I found it in the cannery. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. All right, looted up the place real quick. Let's go talk to the main boss here. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that among other things. Green thumb, grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon. But it's been cleaned. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Uh, something about coming back to town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. This is serious. I'm about to cut off your power. You're doing this for Reed? Why? Your camp has a power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. You really think I'm going to help her? <laughs> oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Sorry, it's petty, but free fruits. You can't go wrong with free fruits. Fruits are good. All right, fast forward. I am on my way back to Edgewater to turn in the final Marauder quest just to get that extra extra XP so we're gonna go ahead and turn that in for you and then we're gonna go back out and do the main quest I think that's uh that's pretty much where all the other quests are and some more side quests we got to get Zoe also but we'll do that later
I've been feeling pretty low. Vale's a little safer, thanks to you. You're turning a bounty. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. He was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. What's this, Junior Deputy Constable? You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Found this cache of medicine. Thought I should turn it to you. Gracilin, huh? That's an anti-Cleo product. I appreciate your vigilance on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I'll make sure this medicine goes to where it's most needed. Which is where exactly? You are of course entitled to a reward for assisting in the apprehension of any contraband. Your compensation? And your receipt. Spacer's Choice wishes you a productive shift. You should know that Abernathy asked me to steal this medicine for him. Martin Abernathy? Interesting. I'll see to it that charges are filed against him. Uh, what kind of charges? Being stupid enough to hire a freelancer who turned him in. It's a punishable offense. All Spacer's Choice workers are expected to be exemplary judges of character. Mr. Abernathy has failed to meet these standards and will be duly punished. <laughs> so that sick old guy who told me to look for the medicine for him, I kind of turned him in. Oh well. Alright, killed some robots and made my way to the main mission area, the geothermal plant. Let's go ahead and go in here and uh, proceed with the quest. Did most of the side quests already and uh, we still got a couple more to turn in later. But let's get this out of the way. Let's be wary in here and be extra careful. I'm going to concentrate and sneak around please.
Lots of robots in here. Seems like we don't have any people that are alive. Let's keep searching for what we need to do. Security patrol. Incoming. Here I go. Is everyone all right? She took one down. Oh, I heard someone. Someone's still alive. It's coming from down here, a certain direction. You can hear it on surround sound. I heard it coming from down here. We'll see him. Oh, bottom, 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 bottom. Let's go find this guy. There he is. You're not real! You're not real! Get away from me, Phantom! Shoot! Scram! Calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. Slow down and tell me what's going on. Clearly I mistook you for one of the Phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. What is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. How have you been surviving all this time? Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. This place looks like it's been abandoned for a while. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Well, you mentioned being an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. If you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. I can deal with the mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Uh, uh, mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with yes, it. Yes, that's exactly it. 
I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Any idea where I can find a logic module? Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. All right, sweet. So. Oh. Hey, there's that other item from a side quest. And then we need to get the logic module. And uh, let's go upstairs to the room and switch the mechanicals around. There was a room upstairs he was talking about. It's next to this room. Let's go ahead and make the mechanicals attack each other. That's helpful. That must be where the mechanicals are. Oh, I see them. Are oh, they going to start attacking each other, I guess? There we go. Sweet. So we clear that out of the way using our brains.
Afro's security. Here goes nothing! Jeez, these machines are pretty tough. So far I'm doing okay. Just sneaking by and going along with the flow. Kill what I need to kill and move on. Thank goodness most of these guys are already done. Alright, we're gonna go up here and uh I think we're I think we're almost done here. This should be the last place, maybe. Because the button is over here. There it is. Right, a perk. So if you take a flaw, you can take a perk. My flaw is movement speed by 30% and you're unable to dodge. That's a flaw I do not want. If I take this flaw, I can exchange that for a perk. Which is a good thing and a bad thing because I can't dodge anymore and I move 30% slower. But instead I gain a perk. That's not worth the trade in my opinion. That's not worth the trade. What's eating you? The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Forgot what you were gonna say? Me too. Hmm. Reading over the journal, if you're uh, wondering what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get access into this room so I can get the logic uh, module, which is needed for one of the side quests from that dude at the port. 
And it seems like the body, the key is hidden right here behind the table. Jeez. That's why I couldn't find it. Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but... I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Ah, don't worry about it. I was barely listening to you. Oh, well. Okay then. <laughs> well, this is where we're diverting power. To Edgewater. See you later, Botanical. You know, you might be figuring out, you might be wondering why I did that. I guess the XP is worth it. <laughs> That's why. Alright, let's go ahead and loot some more of this place and then I'm going to head back to town.
everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Ah, uh, today's your lucky day, Thomas. I got one of those data pads. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The elusive part three. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. I got a question about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. Now let's change the subject. What is it? That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Uh, this isn't personal, Adelaide. I just need your power regulator. You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. All right. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Reed isn't going to leave his post. I'll need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. What happened when you run out of corpses? Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. What happened to you, Adelaide? All this anger had to come from somewhere. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Right. Oh, this woman's pretty sick too, so I'll go ahead and help her out.
Sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do is all. You won't survive without power. It's time to go back to Edgewater. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. So don't work at the cannery. You wanted to be an engineer. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. All right, stay put. I'm going to try to talk to Reed into stepping down. You know where to find me. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. There's nothing left for you here. It's time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the cannery. Alright, we're gonna go and save Zoe. Well, we need to save Zoe. So I'm gonna go convince her real quick and uh, talk to uh, talk to Reed. Time to fast travel to our ship. It's the only thing we can fast travel to in supernova mode. Go ahead and mess with some stats here and uh... Let's go ahead and choose the third perk. I'm going to go with selling vendors and buying cheaper prices. It's always Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. I can understand not wanting to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I'll be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin. It's yours. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Well. Oh, Vicar Max is already on the ship. That's right. I did a quest for him earlier. Turn in the book quest he wanted, and uh, he joined your party, so he's a companion now, I guess. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. You've mentioned a logic module? I found one in the geothermal plant. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then, the key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. 
and a little something to remember me by. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? I spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. Change of leadership might be what this town needs. I am a Spacer's Choice man. My father was a Spacer's Choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer, but it is my home. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with the plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. The town doesn't eat anything but salt tuna. Of course you're gonna get sick. You are disparaging our parent company and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat saltuna here and only saltuna. I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical, how exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Agreed. All I know is that it involves some really complicated math, and it works. <laughs> if Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. No, you don't have to do this, you know. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague. And she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. What are your plans? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now... I couldn't show my face in any of them. Why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. Won't last a day outside the walls, you know. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. That was easy. Let's go back and, uh... Give her the good news. Before we do all that, let's go find Zo. Ever consider the Marauder Life? It's pretty sweet. 
Imagine you're happy out here. Food's awful, company's worse, and no serial dramas. And no serial dramas. I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Now that I've leveled up a bit, let's go clear that, uh, dangerous nest. Let's get him. Alright, snipe him. Should be able to handle them. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Come on. Come on, primals. Bring it. Body almost died. Look at that. The snakes come back. Greed into leaving. Come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Okay. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. To coming back? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? About wanting to be an outlaw, I'd rather not get you into it. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Blades agreed to go back to Edgewater. Didn't think she'd go back so long as Reed was still running the place. Something must have changed. If Adelaide's going back to Edgewater, we'll follow her. I'm glad Adelaide's coming back to town with us. With Reed gone, we're gonna need her leadership. 
guys. Well, that pretty much ends the quest. What's on your mind? I'm going to go ahead and end it right here and continue in the next video. We will be leaving the planet. So we'll head back to our ship, take a rest, and I'll see you next time.